Hello everyone, Love and the Tacos here, and welcome to our modded Minecraft in 10 minutes tutorial series. In this series, we will show you as swiftly as possible how to learn some key things to do in various Minecraft mods. Many tutorials I find tend to drag on and on, including some that I've done myself. So this video is for all of you who just want to know how to do exactly what you need without a lot of extra video padding. There are no recipes shown, as most people nowadays have some form of in-game recipe tool, and things are edited to move through the subject as quickly as possible, so expect to need to rewatch a few times on the more complicated subjects. I am always looking for suggestions for new things to teach in these videos, so feel free to suggest whatever you want. I also reply to comments and will be uploading new tutorials daily, so be sure to subscribe and share the channel with friends. Thank you and enjoy. So producing three times ores in, uh, in Mechanism is actually pretty straightforward. The first thing you're going to need is this machine, an electrolytic separator. Now what this machine does is it actually produces both hydrogen and oxygen uh, simultaneously out of any water source you have. So the way I have this getting done is I have a reservoir here which is actually from Ender.io but you can use any type of water source whatsoever. You pipe it in to the machine. Uh, make sure it's charged, like it's got some sort of energy source. It will convert both hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen I have getting pumped out into my uh, first machine here. The hydrogen could be used for other things, but I don't personally use hydrogen right now myself. So right now I've actually clicked on this little config down here, which keeps the hydrogen empty because once it's full of gas on either side, then um, it will stop producing. So even if we had uh, zero oxygen but we're full hydrogen, we would not get any more oxygen. So I'm just dumping out the hydrogen because I don't need it. So once the oxygen is flowing into your uh, purifying factory or purification chamber, if you just have the single base one, all you have to do is just dump in your ores. And this will convert um, the ore into three iron clumps or three clumps of whatever... Uh, or it is that you're actually uh, uh, crushing, or I guess in this case, purifying. Uh, once you've done that, you go into your uh, crushing um, or crusher, crushing factory or crusher if uh, you just have the basic item. Uh, your iron clumps or your clumps of whatever ore goes into that, which produces dirty dust of that particular ore. Those dust then go into an enrichment chamber or an enriching factory which you can see here which when you add these in create iron dust which we all know and love and then these dust can go into the uh, smeltery or furnace of your choice and my closest furnace is actually over here but this will actually convert it into the ingots so that's all there is to it so um, now the way I initially showed this, there's I didn't have auto eject on, but just so you can kind of see this in its wonderful progress. In my configuration, the only thing I've had to do in the configuration section is turn auto eject on, and then I've also had the right side of my machine here set to dark blue, which matches my output. So anything in any of these three slots will be set to go into my crusher, which then here. I have on the left side dark red, which counts as my uh, input slots here. I also have auto eject on, and it's configured for dark blue to go to the right, which then goes to my enrichment machine, again with the dark red on the left. And if I was outputting directly into a smelter, I would put dark blue wherever I want the smelter to go. In this case, I'm not, I tend to save the dust because I use them for combining in other recipes. But this is how you would normally do it. So we'll just basically dump in a few more ores here. They go into the crusher. They get converted into the dirty dust. Uh, the dirty dust then come into here and they get purified or enriched in this case into uh, normal dust, which we can then smelt. So that is how you do three time ores in mechanism.